back everyone you know who it is and thank you for coming back as i review another shoe today i will be reviewing the pine green air jordan ones i'll be doing a quick unboxing of the shoe i'll let you know how i got these shoes these sold out shoes now and how you can still get them and also i'll be styling them but before I get into that, I want to go ahead and give a special, special shout out to the people that helped me get these shoes. They sent me links, they sent me the websites and gave me tips on how to get these shoes. Specifically, my friend Stacy's fiance, Kamar. It's a wife in 2021. Congrats to you all. And also my friend Trey, my skate friend Trey. Thank you so much because I know I got on your nerves, but Thank you again. Oh, yeah. And also Sniper Jones. Sniper Jones. Yes. Sniper Jones. He um, he has a YouTube page where he reviews shoes. And specifically, he had one on the Air Jordan ones on how to get them in Atlanta. And it really helped me figure out which app to get and which raffle to enter into. So thank you, Sniper Jones, if you are watching. So here is the box. I have a size four and a half, you all. I have a small foot. And on the box it says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Grade Schools in the color Pine Green White Gem Red. So here is the box. Um, it also came with red shoe strings. So I just put them in the shoe so it wouldn't cover up the swoosh. Today I'm not going to be putting in the red shoe, shoe strings. I barely know how to put in shoe strings as it is because I'm, I'm not in high school no more. So I, you know, I ain't as trendy like I used to be. Well, you know. So yeah, um, here's the other shoe. Simple as that. Nothing crazy with it. And it comes with a sticker. I believe all of the Jordans come with a sticker now, but I don't recall that when I bought these a long time ago. So who knows when they started doing this. Maybe you guys can jump in the comments and be like girl they been doing this where you been at you ain't no you a hype beast i don't know who cares all i know is i'm cute anyways so yes this is the shoe and i'm gonna go ahead and just turn turn the shoe around for you all so these shoes released february 29th and they retailed for 130 dollars grade school and 170 dollars for i guess average size they were available to purchase at most retailers, but I was able to get mine on finishline.com. It's typically recommended like with a popular high demand shoe release that you get them on an app or do a raffle. I'll put a list of the apps that you guys can use for any other shoes that you guys would like to purchase. Um, you can also look for pages on IG that share this news or Twitter. Twitter, Soul Link, and for IG, I use Age of Culture. To avoid creases in these shoes, you should get a, I guess, crease protector shoe insert. I got mine off of Amazon. They say it's comfortable. Well, it actually is comfortable because I did try it. It's really comfortable and it will help protect your shoe from creases if you don't like creases. They also say you can put something like a protector film on the bottom of the shoe, but I didn't research that. Um, let me know if that's true or if I should get it, but there it is. That's me putting it taking it out of the shoe and putting it back in. Look how clean that bottom is. It looks so good. Yes, I'm excited. Money green. Yeah, the shoestrings. I have to figure that out. So, yeah. I'm just going to put it, like, do the over method, I guess, you know, like the loop-de-loop -loop and pull, um, and your shoes are looking good. I am truly a character, guys, so don't mind me. Just check out these outfits. So here we go, the first one I have on my trench coat. I've had this coat since high school. Burlington Coat Factory. My mama knew what was up back then. I needed me a good sturdy coat and it is going on year probably 11. That is a hat I've had for years from Forever 21. Still has a tag on it y'all. A good four years. But yes, I have paired this with a bodysuit. Love bodysuits. I put on some gray socks. This is usually how most girls wear these shoes. Leggings and, sh and socks and shoes. 
y'all I'm feeling myself I need to stop it it's that workout it's the gym and here we have the outfit again but I just paired it with this cute little purse that I bought from Forever 21 um, it's not spot on with the green but it's cute so here I have on these joggers that I got from Walmart y'all for like $12 I put on my Nike socks to kind of ruch the bottoms a little bit and I paired it with a bustier type top with I think I got it from for Fashion Nova and same bottoms but this is a forever 21 athletic sports type bra shirt So you gotta do the twerk team kicks in your new kicks and move right along to the next outfit. So here's that purse again, same boussier, but this time I paired them with some ripped denim dark gray jeans from Zara. Oh yeah, and it has like a little um, chain. Alright guys, so this is the last outfit. I just put a white top with it and kept the little purse with it as well. I can't remember where I got the top from, but of course you can find these spaghetti strap tops anywhere. Any, anywhere. That's it. My hair is ready to rest. So thank you all for tuning in once again to watch me review these shoes. I hope this video gave you cute ideas to style these ones and also tips on how to get the next ones that come out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, like, and share my YouTube video, and come again, because I will be back with more reviews. Thanks.